Greetings and salutations. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. My name is Eric Moss. I'm a personal trainer, motivational speaker, and a modern day performing strongman. If you're unfamiliar with what a modern day performing strongman is, picture the old time strongmen. Legends of the past like the Mighty Adam and Alexander Zass. They would perform real life feats of strength as part of a live show. I do a similar thing, but with a modern day twist. Some of the feats of strength I've performed in front of a live audience include things like bending steel bars, breaking chains with my chest, twisting horseshoes, rolling up frying pans, driving nails to wooden boards by hand, and even holding back a high performance motorcycle while taking off at full throttle. Now, being a modern day performing strongman and the fact that there's not a whole lot of us around these days to answer people's questions, in an effort to grow my YouTube channel by giving you guys what you want, I started a YouTube series called Ask Eric Moss, where I would invite you to ask me a question by dropping it in the comments below. And when you do that, I try to get back to you with your very own custom video, just for you and anyone else who happens to have your question. So. This question comes from Act 9835. And they said, 19 year old here, I've been planning on doing work that involves breaking things with a sledgehammer to increase my power. I was worried I wouldn't be able to recover quick enough, but this video put me at ease. How many sets and reps would you recommend for isometric training? For an example, seven seconds of pushing as hard as I can with a 30 second rest for five sets. What would you recommend? Thanks for asking that. Now I wanted to put that into context um, because they were commenting on a video of how the mighty Adam trained. Now, one of the things is he had mentioned breaking things with a sledgehammer. As a matter of fact, the Mighty Adam's top student was another legendary strongman named Slim the Hammerman Farman. And that's one of the things that he had did was he smashed rock all day long and then he would go into his dungeon after work and practice isometrics. So, and when I met Slim, if he offered to shake your hand and said, promise me you won't hurt me, I'm old, um, know that it's a trap because he was going to crush your hand because his grip strength, like pretty close to the, the day that he died was off the charts. And a lot of that came from the tendon strengthening that he did from all those years of smashing rock with a sledgehammer and doing isometrics. <clears throat> now, one of the things is as far as my recommendations, I can't really have any specific recommendations for you. Um, I know that in the scientific studies on isometrics, they said beyond six sets would be the law of diminishing returns. At least that's what it was according to the isometrics manual by Paul Wade. Now, as for what I do, and I, I like this for isometrics because one of the things is with isometrics, uh, something called the law of accommodation comes into effect, where basically if the sim stimulus remains the same for a certain amount of exposures, then your body ceases to adapt to it. Now with isometrics, um, in the isometrics manual, you would go like six weeks or something like that. And then instead of doing like curls in this one, in this range, you would either do them up here or down there because the strength gains tend to be pretty specific to the joining or at least the, the great ones. Now with my feats of strength and the way that I train them with isometrics, it doesn't provide any value of me to me to change the joint angle because I need the strength gains to be very specific to that joint angle because the steel doesn't move through that great of a range of motion. So what I do is I take a pair of dice and then I roll it and however many dots are up, that's going to be how many seconds I hold the contraction for. 
Then I'll take a single die and I'll roll it. And however many dots that are up is going to determine how many rounds I do. So it's going to be no more than six rounds, which falls within to that category. And as for the time under tension, it could be anywhere between two and 12 seconds. Most of the time it's going to be six, seven, eight, which is a good amount for pure strength purposes. Going to like 12 would be like more, I guess, hitting the muscles, but it uh, teaches me to go all out and extending it for a certain period of time. And I'll do that with all of my isometrics that I do. This way I'm not overdoing it and I can keep consistent with the isometrics and consistency is going to be kind of the key to progress. Um, so, and as far as how much time I have in between, it could be around 30 seconds. It could be up to a minute. I try not to go too long. Um, it kind of depends on the setup that I have. If I'm using some kind of a measuring device where I can keep the, the tension on for a, a specific poundage for a certain period of time, it might take a couple seconds to get to that poundage. Um, I might drop down in the middle of it, in which case it would take a bit longer so that I wouldn't cut, cut into that 20 seconds. That's usually when I have about that minute length. Um, now, for the ones where I'm not measuring it, it's usually about 20 seconds is my rest period. I try not to spend too long doing this because I don't have a lot of time during the day to train. Um, and you don't actually need a lot of time to recover for isometrics anyways because there's not really any heat that's being generated since there's not any friction within the body and there's no joint abrasion also. And um, you're not breathing heavy when you, when you do it. So anyways, I hope that answers your question. If anybody else has any questions for me, drop it in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you with your very own custom video. But anyways, if you like this video, let me know by hitting that like button. If you wanna see more of this sort of thing, subscribe to the channel. If you wanna support the channel, um, buy a copy of my book, buy the coffee that I mentioned in my previous video. Um, the book has gotten all five star ratings. People seem to love it. I, I remember it was like I was possessed by the muse when I wrote it. And the coffee is good coffee and it supports my cousin and I get a little bit of a kickback as well. Plus it's good for you anyways. But anyways, that is it for today. In the meantime, please stay happy, healthy, and strong. Eric Moss, over and out.